Okay, so good day, Guma, fellow coin collectors. This is Guma, these coins and banknotes, and I know I made a mistake, but I am a mistake, as my parents keep telling me. So, anyway, in today's video, we have this is definitely the last coin in the Queen Elizabeth the Coin series. So, this is 1962 Halfpenny. We're just going to have a quick look at and show you pretty much catalog prices because that's what the standard is if you're looking on ebay looking for values of coins a lot of the times you're probably going to get optimistic uh coin values so we'll have a look at it. okay the renix catalog has an error it says there's 16 million four hundred and ten thousand of these coins minted if you go to numistar a lot of the pre-decimal coins, they have different mintages. They have 10,259,000. So, and there is also Melbourne and Perth proof mints. So, these standard coins are minted in Perth. The proof is about 1,040 of each, roughly, or 1,064, depending. I'm not too sure where either of the actual Renix or Numis that get the... Uh, mintage figures from so you need to actually go back to probably annual reports of the Royal Australian Mint and personally I don't know where to get them from so you probably have to go to the Royal Australian Mint itself okay and if you want to look at values uncirculated you know bet catalogs ten dollars so probably about five bucks extremely fine it says two dollars so one dollar so obviously any lower grades, so well circulated, is not going to be worth uh, that much money in nature. You can see these coins in front of me, they're pretty much EF to uncirculated. And if we look at sold values, so we've got a half penny, good grade, so probably EF, $2, uncirculated, 10 bucks. Uh, 750 in the kind so all of these are pretty much uncirculated and this is probably a good buy talking about one dollar each roughly ten dollars for that so pretty much you would not get any of these coins graded could just struggle to make any money back like jim uncirculated so one that's in pristine condition has a catalog 75 bucks so probably about 30 to 40 so something like that Ugh, didn't even reach two dollars now 56 okay proof okay now full luster now to me that does look like it could be a proof okay because the rim it's just looks like a higher quality than a standard coin and this one i would probably get graded a proof different than an uncirculated coin so 50 50 dollars for that if it's a proof it's probably eh, I'd say it's actually a good buy if it's a proof. Okay, here we have another one. So here's a proof, 500 bucks. Okay, so what did this go for? This is, okay, proof 65. So it's a pretty high grade in last year. And you can see the quality of the coin. It's actually quite high. So that's what you'll be looking at. And I usually look at the rims. So the rims on these ones, not as good, not as high quality. How about the that one? And so the rims are not as well struck. So that's the first thing I look for. Okay, so if you want to know proofs, these are not frosted. So anyway, so okay, that's basically what you'll be paying for you know these are just standard 5.67 grams of bronze uh, 25.5 millimeters 
and if you want to know errors uh there's only 10 known most of them are cracks cuds die cracks uh, but what you're looking for is probably the missing nose on the queen so is that rotated yeah that's another error rotation but in this edit error catalog doesn't really list a lot rotated as an error so upset also missing date and they should all have a dot after y it's missing a dot probably a die field so nothing on that except for been slightly rotated and this one's uncirculated so that's a pretty good coin and we have an error up there so something wrong with the actual planchet another thing is a h of half penny it reaches the small line in between the denticle so small denticle and if it reaches a the thick denticle then let's say variety and it's not known so this one seems to have ghosting something wrong with the nose probably grease or no something wrong with that die as well not too uncommon how about the h yeah anyway oops don't drop it like that that's how you devalue coins but there's a minimal value anyway looks like it might have had grease around the actual kangaroo when it was struck which is pretty seemed to be pretty common in these coins uh it's her nose okay just get us a grinder grind the nose off and sell it as an error uh that's just um some advice for people who want to commit fraud and be criminals okay this one looks like it's ghosting and oh yeah looks like we have die crack is it die crack going all the way from the pour down so yep obviously if the oh, die crack as well there and we have a lamination and also this is all just grease it's on the actual coin or the die and the lamination there so this is the only good error another lamination so this is the only error i've got another lamination up there and this one looks like just crap on the coin so this is the one to keep error and looks like we might have grease in front of the nose as well oh well we do have grease coming around that causes those lines or even pressure of the coin press can actually cause those as well but i'd say it's just grease on this one and it's causing indention in front of the nose anyway so that's basically it for this coin hunt oh i've got the h as well yeah it's standard goes a small denticle so basically that's it if you want to collect Australian pre-decimal coins I do have a large list of coin videos I have on these so I'm finished the half pennies that I have now and I will be getting on to the Frippens coins I have made quite a few videos uh, the sixpence coins I've only made two, so I'm going to get onto those as well and make that catalog quite larger. Anyway, I'd say thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time, and take care. Thank you, and don't drop your coins.